Smash Ultimate X Squid Game. We have the Paper Flipping Game, Red Light, Green Light. We've got the Honeycomb Game. This isn't a game, but I'm including it anyways. A lot of people get into a fight at the nighttime and things go a little bit messy. We have Tug of War, the Marble Game, the Glass Bridge, as well as our final game, Squid Game. The Paper Throwing Game. The Paper Throwing Game is a game you should not be able to lose. How does the paper throwing game work? A guy throws a piece of paper on the ground and you have to throw your piece of paper on top of his. And if you flip his over, then you win. I'm gonna go through all the characters and we're gonna slowly inch everybody upwards till we have our winners. We're gonna have multiple winners, hopefully. In the squid game proper, there's only one winner, of course, but we're gonna assume that out of maybe like a thousand trials, the, the ones that win would win at least like maybe 50% of the time. Mario, very easy. Donkey Kong? I think Donkey Kong's raw power is enough to flip. He doesn't even have to like throw the paper on top of the other paper. He just throws it in the general vicinity and then the ground rumbling is what flips the paper. Kirby, you don't have fingers. This is a problem. The only real restriction for the paper game is how many times you could take getting slapped in the face before you give up. And Kirby can take an infinite amount of slaps, which is why Kirby progresses. Yoshi, on the other hand, would eat the paper, and then I do not believe Yoshi would give it back. I don't think Yoshi makes it past this point. Captain Falcon gets a first try. I have no idea how Ice Climbers even works. Dr. Mario has a PhD in flipping papers. No way Pichu makes it past. Pichu tries to slam the paper and then like KOs themselves. And we're just gonna run past a lot of these guys because we know you're in two dimensions. You're not making it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't watch. You can't even interact with the paper. The paper is not even in your plane of existence. I'm sorry, dude. Can Charizard actually reach the paper? I feel like Charizard would have to like use its uh, its mouth to pick up and throw the paper. Three of our contestants have been eliminated. Moving on, red light, green light. There is a large area that needs to be traversed from one side of the room to the other. At the end is a doll that once turned around will spot any moving subjects. If you are caught moving while the doll is looking at you, you will be eliminated. Can you make it from one side to the other without being spotted? Who will prevail? Donkey Kong, I don't know if you have the speed for it. I don't think you do. Link can make it. Samus and Dark Samus are making it. Kirby might have enough speed. Fox definitely has enough speed. I think this is the elimination of our heavies. Like Kirby and Puff have the added bonus of leaving the line of sight through vertical, through the vertical axis, and can continue making advances without being seen by just flying. <laughs> Mewtwo just teleports. That's like, <laughs> that's easy. Snake is a master. Sna Snake plays red light, green light as his full-time job. The Pokemon trainer himself, you're just a dude. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> I think Diddy Kong has the speed to make it, but I don't think Diddy Kong has the control to stop on the red light. I think Diddy Kong goes for the run and then it gets caught and killed. You might not agree. You might say, Diddy Kong is my main. What do you know about monkey psychology? Nothing. Sonic makes it before they even finish saying green light. Alibar either gets pushed or trampled. Having a lot of speed is great, but having moderate speed, but also like no weight behind you, makes you an easy target. Now, at least one of our Mii's gets killed here. We could take our pick, but I think it's better if we allow fate to decide. We have our red me, our yellow me, and our blue me. Which one actually survives? The second one. Good job. You've made it to the next round. The other two, I don't know. They get caught slacking, all right? What happens to Plant? Plant tries for a little bit and then probably gets fucked. I'm sorry, Blant. You know what, Ness? I think Ness gets trampled. Squirtle has a lot of speed, but I think that if Squirtle can't make it on the first go around, I don't know if Squirtle can like stop on a dime like that. Squirtle might like get like 70% of the way through and then the doll turns around and then Squirtle just can't stop. I think Squirtle gets eliminated. Next up, we have our honeycomb game. You have to use your your little needle here to cut out the shape without cracking the candy in half. Who can do it? Who has the precision? Who has the patience? This is going to be rough for a lot of you guys. I don't think the Samuses make it. Zero suit Samus. You take off the suit, this becomes a lot easier. Kirby, 
might get eliminated right here just because Kirby just eats the whole candy. Mar Wario breaks the honeycomb square in half on the first touch. Did the pokey trainer. He can't keep getting away with it. Charizard, get fucked. I gotta keep track of Lucario here because Lucario scales with percentage. So he's not at high enough percentage that he would break the honeycomb by just looking at it. But that's something you gotta keep in mind. Incineroar, you're breaking it. Come on. You lose paper game. You guys lose red light. You guys are the ones that lose honeycomb. I feel better now. That was bugging me. That was in the back of my mind. Like this isn't labeled right. Honeycomb got a decent kill rate. Mostly the people that don't have opposable thumbs. I mean, next time pick a thumb. Next up, we have the nighttime brawl. This isn't an official game. Our contestants realize only one of us can win. So what if we just kill the others? <laughs> a culling of the week, if you will. Link has survivability. A lot of these guys do have survivability. Luigi's dead. Out of a pit of a thousand trials, you win maybe 12 times. <laughs> All the rest of the times, you get bodied. Peach can mess you up. And Daisy is like an Olympic athlete. Sorry, Pit. Dark Pit makes it through. Regular Pit, I think you get like hit in the back of the head. Not even hard. <laughs> this is where your story ends, Pokemon Trainer. Go home. Okay, Lucario? <laughs> Lucario takes another like maybe 40%. So what's he at? Like 70 something? Yeah. Lucario is a, is a cold, hard killer at this point. Dude, I don't know what it takes to kill you, Shulk. I'm gonna be real. I have no idea what it takes to kill you. You have the get out of jail free card of just like changing stances. Sora, how tough is Sora? I've never played a Kingdom Hearts game. How tough is Sora? I'll give it to you. And honestly, it doesn't look like too many people are dying in the nighttime brawl out of a pit of a thousand trials. Next up, we have our tug of war. It's literally just tug of war, okay? <laughs> Dr. Mario. I do not believe the PhD has prepared you for this. While Dr. Mario was studying medicine, regular Mario was studying the blade, okay? Fox has metal legs. He's got tungsten legs. Mewtwo doesn't even touch the rope. I don't know how strong Mewtwo's telekinesis is. Mewtwo would probably just cheat, right? Mewtwo just like brain scrambles the other team if he's close enough, or he just like levitates one of them. Yeah, Mewtwo's a filthy cheater. Dark Pit, you gotta find another hobby. You gotta like, take up knitting or something. Sonic is so broken. I hate it. I hate it so much. Sonic is crazy busted. Okay, three, two, one, and he just takes the rope himself before everyone can even react. Balladina, you're dead as fuck. Come on, dude, just lose already. Shulk, just lose already. The problem with the Shotos is that they're like really good all-rounders because they're not like hotheads or anything that are just like Hulk smash. They're like, I must protect my family. Dude, Little Mac might actually win something, dude. What spell does Hero have that would help with tug of war? Oh, the one where he goes up into the sky? <laughs> Jumps up into the sky and he takes the rope with him. Our next game, we have the marbles. You're given the marbles are placed in pairs and you can devise whatever game you want. So basically you should be ending the game with all of your partner's marbles. If you do so, you will survive and your partner will die. And like always, we're assuming this is out of a collection of a thousand different trials where the partner is completely randomized. These people are all master strategists. Mario isn't much of a strategist, right? I don't even know if his vocabulary expands past 20 words. Captain Falcon, he can speak. I mean, we're off to a good start. Can you speak? <laughs> yes. Mewtwo is a goddamn cheater. It basically just brain fries his partner, quote unquote partner. I think like for half of these games, Mewtwo can just cheat. Mewtwo is the Peter Baelish of Squid Game. Here's something. I think that Rob, Ryu, and Ken all align by like, Rob's a robot, so he's probably pretty easy to, to deceive. But Ryu and Ken, very strict moral code that they abide to, which means that it's probably easy to slight them and take advantage of their very rigid moral foundation. Sonic can like dine and dash with your marbles, right? Sonic just steals. Lomac is in the same tier. All the fighting characters, they just get eliminated right here. I'm sorry, you're too trustworthy. Sephiroth was built for this. Anyone that has to get out of jail free card of just like, I take your bag of marbles and then fly away, just wins. Hey buddy, can I borrow your marbles? Flies away. Next up, the glass hopscotch. 50% of these 
glass panels cannot support the weight of your body walking on them. You must traverse the pathway of glass without falling onto a, the wrong panel. Who can do it? By the way, Lucario is at like maybe like 95% at this point. Lucario's up B basically takes him to the end. Mewtwo teleports. Mewtwo, 98% air. So even if he couldn't teleport, he doesn't have the weight to break the glass anyways. Zelda has a teleport. Lucina probably dies. Fox probably dies. Those tungsten legs aren't doing you any favors. Sonic can run on water. So I don't I don't doubt that he could just run in a straight line on top of the real and fake glass and just not even notice. How did Daisy make it past marbles? <laughs> How'd that happen? I'm keeping it. But Sephiroth is probably like just pushing every, he, he's pushing the person in front of him to make sure, all right, if you die, I'm not going that way. Sephiroth is that one asshole you play against in Fall Guys. This is basically the A-Team, the Squid Game. We have a attacker and defender, but one person has to make it through from one end to the other, touch the, the circle at the end. And our opposing party, our defender, has to stop our attacker and push them out of bounds. Given a thousand randomized runs where your opponent is completely random and your role is completely random, who would win more times than they lose? Lucario is definitely getting through. Could win. It just, just could win. Possibly. I don't know. If you were going to get rid of Lucario, you should have killed him back at red light, green light. Mewtwo can just teleport. If, he, if he's the attacker, he just teleports. These games were not built for a hyper-intelligent Pokemon that has telekinesis and teleportation abilities. You don't even use money. Shulk won this at like minute one. You have something for speed, you have something for jump, you have something for the, just killing people at 2%. Just dumb. It, 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 it's honestly just not fair. Sephiroth's a slow dude. Sephiroth's strong, but I don't think he makes it. He's a slow dude. I don't think he could make it through the circle. I don't think he could do that. If you don't get killed immediately by Sephiroth, then I don't know, man. Hero has the, the stupid hop where he like goes into the stratosphere and comes back. But out of a thousand tries, Hero can make it to the circle no problem. I think that's like no problem. Hero does not have what it takes to, to defend though. To push the other person out? No. As for Sonic, Sonic's getting through, through to the other side like instantly. We all know this. Super speed is kind of like a, it's a good way to win. <laughs> I'm 50-50 on Sheik. Bayonetta could punch you from like 50 feet away. Don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have our our full list. Marbles killed off a lot of good men. Got a lot of our a lot of our lovely ladies got got killed in tug of war. That was a shame. Greninja, his tongue was his biggest asset in the previous rounds, but the slippery nature of it was also his downfall. And you know, Dr. Mario, of course, spending all of his time pursuing his PhD, lost sight of what was actually important: tug of war. The nighttime brawl killed a lot of our weaker players, a lot of our smaller statured players, and Rosalina. Actually, I'll do this. Rosalina survives the nighttime brawl, but she loses tug of war. The nighttime brawl, she like tries to defend herself from people trying to kill her, and Luma dies in the process. And then in the, the tug of war, she's so distraught. Survivorship guilt takes over her, and she does not have the strength to continue further. Our honeycomb got rid of a lot of people, uh, whether they're like Kirby and Pac-Man that just eat the honeycomb outright, maybe Puff or Pikachu or Falco that just don't have fingers. Red light, green light, not only killed off our heavy, slower characters, but also killed off some of our quicker characters that were quick, but didn't have enough balance to stop on a dime or just got pushed by another player and didn't have the stability to stop themselves from moving should red light come about. And finally, we have the people that lost the paper game. These people didn't even make it into the squid game. <laughs> they didn't even make it in. Yoshi accidentally ate the paper. Pichu shocked herself and died. <laughs> Pyra and Mithra are already like elsewhere on the list and just literally just don't count. And finally, Mr. Game & Watch cannot even interact with the paper, or he is a two-dimensional character in a three-dimensional world. Thank you.